good afternoon uh, today i will continue the practice set 4 and uh, of the problems related to your information and coding theory um, in this set uh, you will be able to calculate all related cap channel capacity related problems and that are frequently coming in your gate exam and uh, i think by end of this to, uh, by by end of today uh, all types of problems are given to you related to your channel capacity and uh, beyond that no problem um, types are there to come in the examination right so previously i have already shared the different types of uh, questions related to your coding theory that uh, of uh, from your gate exam and today i will complete my, the practice set 4 by explaining more three problems and uh, with one problem at, as your assignment or homework please practice it and uh, let me know that what is the answer i will also share the answer and please check please uh, you will you will check that uh, whether the answer is coming or not right so by end of today i think you will be able to answer that type of question that i will give at the end of my session and it's a large a larger problem by including every uh, each and everything of your channel capacity so let's check your capability uh, by doing the, the by, by by doing the problem so before that uh, i will explain the important some important problems and that is uh, three problems i will share today uh, related to your channel capacity so let's begin with the problem number one So this is your problem set one. This is your problem number one. That is given an additive white Gaussian noise channel with four kilohertz bandwidth and noise spectral density. That is eta by two equal to ten to the power minus twelve watt per hertz. This type of questions I have already shared uh, previously. So the signal power required at the receiver is 0.1 milliwatt. Calculate the capacity of the channel. Got the question? So I think that this is the punch of communication plus coding theory. Right? Communication means analog communication plus coding theory. So you should have the knowledge of that. Right? Okay. So first note it down what the parameters have already mentioned in your question. What are the parameters are there? The additive white Gaussian noise channel okay before that what is the significance of your additive white Gaussian noise channel do you know that the what is the significance because it's from communication that uh, i will not explain in very detail because you have already come came to know that uh, from my my perspective view i just tell something that additive white Gaussian noise means white means white noise you have you have already know um, you have heard the terms that is noise white noise short noise pink noise flicker noise thermal noise various types of noise are there in your analog communication noise spectrum right okay and what is white noise white noise means it consists all the frequency not only the low frequency or high frequency various types of all types of frequencies are there in your white noise just like your white light that is a gives your white light is a combination of the same the various types of colors so that is the same application of your white noise eh? because this includes eh, the different types of frequencies are there in your white noise right and what what is the Gaussian because there is noise noise due to the random variable right and what will be the distribution curve the distribution curve is the Gaussian distribution so that is your additive white Gaussian noise channel right okay the channel bandwidth is also mentioned that is 4 kilohertz 4 kilohertz means this is denoted by B, right? And the noise spectral density, that is the parameter, the dependent parameter, that is eta by 2 equal to 10 to the power minus 12. So, eta will be equal to 10, 2 into 10 to the power minus 12, right? Okay. And the signal power, right? This signal power is defined as 0 0.1 milliwatt. So, what is this signal power? What parameter? This is indicated by what parameter? Yes, because the signal to noise ratio is defined as S by N. So, this is nothing 
guarda di proprio che non parte una cosa e sto fondo questo mi fa che calcoli da c'è nel da capire da chi si ha un po' di formula che si con chi dio e manca di suoi che si dice modo formula ma che calcoli da chi ha fatto i calcoli di signore che non ha questo con and for that purpose you require the signal power and the noise power so you will calculate the noise power from the noise signal to the signal to the signal and signal power that is already defined in the question okay so let's see that how can we calculate the uh, how can we solve the problem right okay let's check So firstly, I will write down that what parameters are already given, because this is a very uh, a useful tricks that uh, please note it down that what parameters in the question, uh, what parameters are given in the questions, and what are the missing term, and please think about that how can you calculate the missing term to relate the question, right? So firstly, I will write um, the parameter B because this is a bandwidth and it is given as your four thousand hertz, I think. Because this is uh, four kilohertz, so four kilohertz means four thousand hertz, right? Okay. And what is your signal power? Signal power means this is your zero point one milliwatt, right? So S will be equal to zero point one into ten to the power minus three watt. Unit is most important, eh? and power spectral density that is eta by two equal to ten to the power minus twelve. But in the, my previous lecture, I have already shared that how can you calculate the noise power? What is the formula? And what is the formula? Noise power formula is eta into b. B means the bandwidth of the channel. So what is that? This is two into ten to the power minus twelve into what is the bandwidth? That is four thousand. And how can you calculate that? This is nothing but eight into ten to the power minus nine watt, because you have already calculated from milliwatt to watt, right? So what is your signal to noise ratio? That is s by n, nothing else. So s by n equal to zero point one into ten to the power uh, minus three divided by your what you have calculated. That is eight into ten to the power minus nine. Clear? And if we calculate this, it becomes one point two five into ten to the power four, right? But in this case, I have not written any unit because this is the ratio of your power. This is the ratio, so it is unitless, right? Okay. So how can you calculate the channel capacity? So this is nothing but c equal to b log two one plus s by n. All the missing terms you have already calculated from the parameters given in the question, right? So this is your four thousand log two one plus one point two five into ten to the power four, right? And if you calculate this, the answer will be fifty four point four into ten to the power q. And what is the unit? Obviously, bit per second. Because maximum number of bits are passing per second, it's the parameter of, it's the indicator of, it's the level of your channel capacity, right? So these type of tricky types of questions are may come in your gate exam. I think it's a very useful, right? And with some important formulas are there because beside that, no other formulas are there in your coding theory from where the questions may come. I am giving you the assurance. Right. Okay. So coming to my next problem, that is, <clears throat> okay. First, see the question. So this is your question number two. That is a voice grade channel of the telephone network, and uh, one more thing I must say in this con in this in this uh, scenario that is you have already studied the subject that is your uh, telecommunication right EC six zero three. Okay, so it is a very much interesting subject because in that case the, 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 the there is a there is a concept that is from the uh, very um, 
oldest uh, oldest uh, era to the new era how there is a modification in your mobile communication in your telecommunication in terms of your device in terms of your channel in terms of your uh, techniques in terms of your process is a uh, totally modifications are there from the beginning to the present right so if you go through the subject very uh, uh, conceptually you will also get some idea related to the channel capacity and bandwidth and signal to noise ratio very easily right okay so let's come to the question that is a voice grade channel of telephone network has the bandwidth of 3.4 uh, kilohertz right okay so you can convert it to the hertz okay so calculate the information capacity of the telephone channel if the signal to noise ratio is 30 db i have given these questions because one logic is that behind of this question because in your gate exam the questions may come may may appear in a various way I have already mentioned in that. Uh, please note it down on the parameter SNR. Here the SNR is given in terms of dB. That means the unit, right? So, but you have to uh, transfer it to the value that is unit less. From unit to unit less, you have to convert it. And how can you convert that? For that purpose, I am giving this question. Because you have to calculate the value S by N. Otherwise, you can't um, calculate the capacity that is C. Because C equal to the same formula that is B log to 1 plus S by N. So, S by N, what will be the value of S by N? from this SNR 30 dB and that is the point of uh, view from my uh, side then how to calculate that because this is a very important right okay so how can you do that please note it down okay so before the before before doing that please 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 write down what the parameters are given that is bandwidth is given that is 3.4 kilohertz right and uh, your SNR. SNR means 30 dB. Right? Okay. But, uh, now, please listen carefully that in your digital communication, uh, this, because the digital communication is a mostly, mostly important subject uh, from PCM to your uh, quantization to your, um, um, uh, what are that, uh, that is your uh, uh, digital modulation, right? Digital modulation means ASK, PSK, FSK, MSK, QPSK and your um, BFSK, very, very important modulation techniques are there and their uses in total in in today's scenario is a very broad very very broad and uh, from there you will get the concept of db how to convert that how to implement that everything right okay so db means what is a db formula that is 10 log 10 right so s by n db that is equal to 10 log 10 s by n i can write that because it is already given in terms of db Okay, so what is the value in dB? That is already given the 30. So, 30 equal to 10 log 10 is by n. Because other, our, our um, um, evaluating formula from the parameter is s by n. So, you have to calculate the s by n. And what is s by n? This is nothing but 3. I can cut it down, right? And what is your s by n? s by n is nothing but you have to calculate the anti log, right? So s by n equal to anti log of uh, anti log of three, right? Anti log of three means it's all it's about thousand, right? So in this way you can calculate the value of s by n. Okay? So all parameters you have obtained. Now calculate c equal to b log 2 1 plus s by n b means 3.4 kilohertz so c.4 into 10 cube log 2 1 plus 1000 right and what is this 3.4 into 10 cube and uh, log 2 1001 right oh. And how, how you can calculate that? I am again explaining 3.4 into 10 cube because calculation is mostly important. If you totally uh, the, uh, done the uh, steps uh, in, a, in a right way, but the answer is not up to this mark, uh, the total value, the total marks will be zero in your gate exam. So, the calculation of the answer, please be careful on that. So, 3.4 into 10 cube 
how we can calculate that this is nothing but log 10 that is log 10 2 okay and if you calculate this the value will be nothing but 33.89 kbps okay so this is your c got my point so in this way you can calculate easily the problems related to your channel capacity right okay so coming to my next question that is your uh, this one A channel has a bandwidth of 8 kilohertz and what is the channel capacity if the signal to noise ratio is 31. Okay, it, um, uh, it is uh, not SNR, it is S by N. This is my mistake, it is not SNR, it is S by N because it is not given in dB, right? So for same channel capacity, if the SNR is increased to 61, then what will be the new channel bandwidth? It's a very important problem. Huh? So, uh, we have to calculate the channel capacity and we have to calculate the new channel bandwidth. Right? Two parameters you have to evaluate it. Okay? So, in the similar way, please write down what are the parameters are already given in your question. Please write down that is bandwidth is also given that is B equal to 8 kilohertz and s by n equal to 31 right so what is your problem c equal to b log 2 1 plus s by n and if you calculate this the value will be 40 into 10 qubits per second right okay so the new value is uh, the, 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 the snr is increased to the um, SNR is increased to the uh, what is the value 61 okay so if it is 61 so we can write that s by n new that is equal to 61 right and you have to calculate the bandwidth so you have already calculated the channel capacity so c equal to b log 2 1 plus s by n right so 40 into 10 q equal to b log 2 1 plus 61 and from that b equal to 40 into 10 cube divided by 5.95 if we calculate this value right and what will be the answer this will be equal to 6.71 but what is the unit of that this unit will be kilohertz you can convert it to hertz also right so up to this, I think all will be very useful to you. So please practice and practice after going to your the next semester. And uh, one questions related to that, I will give you to judge yourself that whether you have understood the procedures, you, whether you have understood the steps, the logic. Please study, please assess yourself, right, with the questions. And up to that, enjoy your learning.